Hey everyone, it's Hector from the Tech Desk. I'm so excited to show you our brand new YouTube studio. I've had this in the works for a while and it's finally ready. So let me give you a quick tour of the space. As you can see, we have a nice workspace here, equipped with all the tech tools and equipment you need to create high quality videos. Here is our main camera, and a small teleprompter is attached to the front of the lens. Right beside it is our key light, and attached to it is a shotgun mic. On the other side, I added a light ring for additional lighting. On the left and right side of the shelves, I installed a couple light bars to bring some color into the shot. I also have a couple of smaller light bars to help light up the things on the second shelf. Only the top two shelves will actually be in the shot. The bottom two shelves will serve as extra storage space for extra props, sets, and accessories. On the shelves, I chose these items. And of course, any of these items can be interchanged. The iPad up here is the first generation iPad and it got released when I was still in college. I was so happy when it got announced and extremely excited about the possibility of a single iPad replacing all my textbooks. However, that never came to fruition, at least not for me. That was a while back, so maybe it's possible now. Let me know in the comments if any of you have successfully replaced all your textbooks with an iPad. This white MacBook Pro represents the very first time I used a MacBook. Unfortunately, I never got to own one back then. By the time I had enough money saved up, they were discontinued. Don't worry though, it's not a sad story. I saved for a few more months and ended up purchasing a MacBook Pro. I'm sure I would still have it if it hadn't been stolen. On the left hand side, we have a DJI gimbal. And this is the very first item I bought whenever I started making videos. I rarely use it though. Hopefully I can find fun new ways to use it. On the right here, we have an original HomePod, and in my opinion, it's still the best sounding smart speaker there is, even though calling it a smart speaker is a little bit of a stretch. It is very limited when it comes to being smart. Siri is definitely not the best, and definitely not my favorite, but unfortunately, that is what we're stuck with right now. My wife likes to joke and say that if Siri ever becomes conscious, I'll be public enemy number one. Let's just say I'm not very nice to Siri when she fails to perform tasks that a virtual assistant should be able to do. On the second shelf, I have a box for a Samsung Galaxy S8, and that was the last Android phone that I purchased for personal use. I still prefer the designs of Samsung devices. To my eye, they simply look more sleek. However, the way that FaceTime and iMessage are integrated into iOS is something very difficult to compete with. Google seems to be working on a iMessage competitor. I am very intrigued to see what they come up with. On the other side, I have a box for an iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is the iPhone I'm currently using. Nothing too much to say about it. I feel that the name is much bigger than what is actually Pro about it. One of the main features that the iPhone 13 Pros have is cinematic mode, which is great for the people that actually get to use it, but I really haven't had a chance to put it to the test. Towards the middle, I have a couple of Sony lenses. I change them out according to what type of shot I'm doing. I'm still very new to all of this, so hopefully it will all be easier to understand soon. To finish it off, I have two drones. These represent something that I want to explore as I go on this video making journey. I'm currently working on getting my commercial drone license, and I'm very excited about all the opportunities that that might bring. On this side, we have a desk where I can do unboxing videos or where I can do short format videos like reels. I have a completely different tripod for this shot. And also the height of the desk is adjustable, which I think will be very useful. That concludes the tour. Now let's talk about what I want the channel to be and the type of videos I'll be creating. My goal is to help people better interact with technology. And I plan to accomplish just that with our array of technology tips and reviews. You can come here and learn the latest tech trends or find out what's going on in the world of tech. I'll use all my years of experience 
to give you my insight so you can stay up to date on all the newest products, services, and devices. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the studio in the comments, and let me know if you have any suggestions.